Hi, welcome to a brush and ball video. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint Death Guard Plague Knives. Okay, so the first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Null Oil, which is the shade. I'm going to use that on both of the blades. There we go. Next we're just going to use some Citadel Agrax Earth Shade. We're going to be using this on the Vallejo Rust, which is the bronze colour at the base of the sword there on the hilt, and also on parts of the blade that are a bit corroded. Now, the good thing about Agrax Earth Shade is that you can use it around the base of the blade, and that makes it look as though it's not been cleaned all too often, and it gives it a sort of like a little brown tinge makes it look a little bit grimy because of the dirt's been building up over some time. Like so. Now we're going to be using Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to be using that on the areas that are more heavily corroded. Like so. Now the next colour that we're going to use is one of the technical paints, Typhus Corrosion. Now this has quite fine grit in it to give it like a texture. And uh, what you might find is if you're doing a large area with it, or a lot of different miniatures with it, your brush will get quite clogged with the grains of sand or whatever it is that they use inside it. So it's always worth just keeping an eye on your brush and when it starts getting splayed, give it a rinse out and then start again with it. We're just going to add this to the areas of corrosion on the knife, maybe a few of the little sunken areas that aren't getting any abrasion or cleaned at all.
like so. Next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Dry Paint, Rise of Rust, and that just gives it the orange tinge to all the rusted areas and the corroded areas. Now what I do for this is I tend to get a fair old bit on the brush and then use a little piece of paper just to wipe that off so that you get the, work, the most part off it. What I like to do with that is what I like to do with that is get a fair bit on the brush and then I wipe the excess off onto a piece of paper so there's not that much left. Then lightly dry brush that over the areas where you put the typhus corrosion and that just kind of blends all the dark areas into the areas around it. And because it's a dry paint it does dry on the brush very quickly so you may have to keep reapplying it. So now we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Nihilac Oxide and we're just going to use that around the bronze area on the sword. Like so. The very last thing that we're going to be doing is using a little bit of Citadel Lead Belcher just to go over some of the edges where the blades will have been worn during combat and what have you. so and there we have the finished plate knives thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content also think about subscribing to one of our other forms of social media linked below thanks very much